Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. Today is an exciting day because I have a brand new box of prints that I won at auction. I'm going to open them up for you here and we'll see what we've got. While I open this box up, I'd like to put a call out to all my fellow woodblock print collectors. I don't care if you have 10 prints or a thousand. You can share your experience by creating a profile on our collectors page at Cross-Eyed Gallery. It's a simple form to fill out and I do all the work after that. No obligation and if you're shy or paranoid, you can even be anonymous. In any case, check it out and share what you love about Japanese prints with your fellow enthusiasts. Okay, here's our nice bubble wrapped package. Let's get this open. Let's start with a small one first. These are seven prints by Kawanabe Kyosai, also known as the Demon of Painting. He was the son of a samurai, but he loved to drink sake and was arrested three times. Kyosai is considered by many, including me, to be the greatest successor of Hokusai. I have a fun video about his antics at a party at Kunichika's house in case you haven't seen it. Some of these prints are backed and a couple are quite stained, unfortunately. These prints are from the comic series Kyosai Hyakuzu, or 100 Pictures by Kyosai. The original was done around 1864 and then it was republished in 1885 uh, as uh, single sheets and as albums. And this is from the later series, I believe. Uh, the um, subject matter of the prints are superstition, monsters, and proverbs. At the top of this one, it says there's nothing that can be done about a crying child or a bossy magistrate. And at the bottom here, it says 100 days of preaching undone by a single fart. And this one at the top, it says even spoiled, it's still sea bream. And at the bottom, it's uh, spanking a cat with a mallet. Don't ask me why. And this next one is changing from an ox to a horse. So you can see that although these prints are small, they are full of inventiveness and Kyosai's playful personality. Next, this is interesting. These two prints are from Hiroshige II is Tokaido from 1863. The printer would print these two up and then they would be cut or pasted into a book. These you can see are in amazing shape. Uh, it's station 27 and 28 on the Tokaido. On the left is Furukoi and on the right is Kakegawa. Let's see what's next. This print is backed. It's by Kunichika of an actor playing Inukawa Sosuke. This is a character from the series The Eight Dog Heroes of the Satomi Clan. This is from a famous fantasy series uh, that consists of 106 novels. The series was started in 1814 and ended in 1842. And many, many famous ukiyo-e artists did prints of characters from this series. It would really be fun to collect a whole set by each artist um, of this series, but uh, that's quite an undertaking. The next print is not backed and it's in great shape. It's by Kunichika of actor Onoe Kikugoro playing the role of Omatsu of Terashima from a series of six selected actors all holding umbrellas. It's amusing to see the juxtaposition of the traditional geisha next to this Western style umbrella. Of course, in this case, the geisha is played by a male actor, uh, but half the fun of these prints also is this, uh, these amazing fashions. I mean, look at the uh, dragon in the kimono. This next print is by Yoshi Iku. It's a color insert that went into the Tokyo Nichi Nichi Shinbun, or newspaper, showing the sensational news of the day. 
In this print, we see a passerby stopping elopers from Niigata from jumping off of a bridge in Osaka and committing suicide. Suicide is the, still the leading cause of death in Japan for men between the ages of 20 and 44 and women between the ages of 15 and 34. Let's see what we have next. Here we see a backed print, but it, it's a great image by Toyokuni of actor Matsumoto Kinsho I as King Kanban Karagoro from the series A Modern Day Suikoden. This series shows well-known actors in the roles of uh, bandits and outlaws from the story. And one of the things to note here is the really cool Karazu Tengu design on his kimono. Here I'll rotate it a little bit so you can see it better. So the Karazu Tengu is a crow monster. It's a mythological creature that hates people. It eats human flesh, uh, rapes and tortures for fun. Um, some of its favorite games are carrying people up to great heights and dropping them deep in the forest. Uh, they will also tie children to the tops of the tallest trees so everyone can hear them scream, but no one can help them. Uh, they've also been known to uh, make people eat feces until they go mad. So I uh, don't know exactly where I'm going to go from here, but let's see what's next. Next, we have another Kunichika print from the series, The Eight Dog Heroes of Satomi. This is an actor playing Inumura Daikaku. Here are the two prints together. Wouldn't it be nice to have all eight? This series has had a strong influence on modern manga and anime, especially those based on adventure quests like Dragon Ball and Inuyasha which both have plots around the collection of magical crystals or crystal balls. Next, we have a very colorful print. It's by Kunichika. It's uh, Nakamura Shikan in the role of Dai Hanji from the Japanese Romeo and Juliet style kabuki play Yoshinogawa. I was attracted to this design by the unusual ornate geometric kimono. Ah, wow, really nice print quality. It's another insert by Yoshiiku from the newspaper Nichi Nichi Shimbun. And the topic of this interesting print is the treacherous couple, the tiger husband and the wolf wife, who strangled the officer that was trying to capture them with his own ropes. Next, we have several prints. Three prints by Kunichika from his famous 100 Rolls of Baiko series. Onoe Kikugoro V was a mega famous actor that had the nickname Baiko. Kunichika did 100 prints of him acting in different kabuki plays. I only have about 35 in our gallery and I have several duplicates for sale. Let's go through these prints and see what we've got. In this role, Baiko plays Haya no Kanpei, who was one of the original 47 samurai from the Japanese Chushingura story. And uh, unfortunately, he was caught between revenging his master and his honor for his family. So he ended up committing suicide. In this next print, Baiko plays the role of Otomi, who is the mistress of a gang boss. But she is in love with Yasaburo, who is the guy in the inset at the top there. And when they meet to uh, do stuff, uh, Yasuburo notices that part of her finger, her little finger is missing. So he asks her and she opens up this box and she's got her finger in there. And she said that she cut it off in order to prove her love for him, which uh, guys right there, that's, that's a warning sign. Um, anyway, later the gang boss finds out, out about their tryst and he is so angry that he orders his men to cut her with swords. And from that moment on, she's known as Scarface Otomi. And there's a lot more to that story, but I'll let you discover that on your own. In this last print, Baiko is playing the role of the loyal maid Ohatsu. 
and Ohatsu is asked by her mistress to mail a letter in a uh, lacquered box. And you can see that she's clutching this box uh, with a letter in it. But along the way, she notices a lot of bad omens, like a lantern goes out and uh, there are this uh, group of crows cawing. And uh, at one point she gets caught in a street fight and she drops the box on the, on the ground and inside it is revealed her mistress's suicide note. So uh, it's a really interesting play and I just love these crows. I mean, look at these four crows here. Very simple, black and grays, but you can really get the feeling that of a bad omen. Something, something is uh, going to happen. You can't go wrong with the Baiko series. It's consistently good and interesting. And we end on a strong note. Here are three prints by Kunichika from the Yoshime Suikoden, or Female Water Margin. These, of course, are male actors playing the roles of female bandits. This is why I love Kunichika. He gives us these classic characters in bold, simple kimonos. The focus is on the actor playing the role. They are placed against the sparse, subtle, gradated background. Even the wood grain from the woodblock becomes a visible part of the design. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our website because some of these prints will be available on there. And of course, happy collecting.